Hey everybody, this is CK Sample with the Daily Obsession at Obsessible.com. I wanted to show you Seismic for Facebook, which is a new Adobe Air app, and I also wanted to show you TweetDeck, uh, which just got Adobe Air support. So first, Seismic for Facebook. Uh, right here, I just updated a second ago, hey, I'm updating Facebook status via Seismic for Facebook. And uh, as you can say, see, it shows my picture. It has a link to Seismic, if I want to go to the Seismic, Seismic app in... Uh, Here's my actual Facebook page. But here's the Seismic app where you would uh, install and download this. You can go to the application page to actually uh, download it to your desktop. It should run on Windows and uh, Mac OS X. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty, it's non-threaded. It's just kind of like, you know, it's just status updates. It's like a Twitter view of uh, Facebook. But it's cool. It's, 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 it's nice to have. And it came out, uh, I think, Sunday, uh, Loic who is the um, CEO of Seismic, announced that they had the first um, first Facebook app uh, released. And uh, if you don't know about Seismic, Seismic, they're the ones that run Twirl, which is another Adobe Air app that interfaces with Twitter and with their own video service, Seismic, which I've uh, mentioned before in previous uh, daily obsessions. But it seems like Loic was just kind of like getting this out there to get it out there. There's no settings. There's no preferences. You can't turn off the audio uh, notification, there's no threading, all this other stuff, and I think they were trying to get it out to beat this, which is TweetDeck announced that they have now added to their functionality this new Facebook friend status, and as you can see here, there's no uh, listing of my Facebook updates in here, it's only people that are my friends, and as you can see, um, it says the person's name, like here's Andrew Mager, and uh, it says their name before the status, which is a little bit clunky, as opposed to uh, the way it handles Twitter, where it just has the person's name down here. But you know, you have a link to them where you can link to click on see their uh, Facebook profile. You have the date it was listed, how it was sent, and uh, up here at the top, you can do you know, hey, I'm updating Twitter and Facebook via. Tweet deck simultaneously. Did I spell that right? Yeah, so anyway, um, and you check both of these and you click enter and it sends it off to both. Now, what's cool, and it gives you a little notification tweet sent, update sent, so you know that it went out to Facebook and Twitter. You can also uncheck Twitter and uh, with Facebook still selected, you can say, hey, I'm doing a, a really long update for Facebook only because there is no 140 character limit here and TweetDeck will let me do this. So that is why it is awesome and I made this sentence way too long. So as you can see, uh, it's, it turns red as if it would for, uh, on Twitter it would say, you know, minus 68, you can't post this message. But since we're not sending it to Twitter, if I just click enter, it actually sends and it says update sent and on my Facebook page it'll actually show up. You'll take my word for it because I, I tested it earlier already. The other cool thing is that if you have Twitter and Facebook both selected by default and you do something like D, which is for direct message, Let's say DCKS3. I wonder if this will leak out to all of Facebook. So if you accidentally send one of your friends a private direct message on Twitter and you have Facebook checked, if you click enter, it unchecked Facebook, uh, as you can see right here. So you don't risk actually sending direct messages to uh, people over Facebook and that sort of thing. So very cool interface. Nice to see this coming out of Tweet. Deck. This is still very beta. Um, I'll provide links to both of these. They're both kind of in the alpha and beta phase. So it'll be interesting to see how both of these uh, uh, products evolve over the next couple of uh, weeks. But it's it's good to see us getting some Facebook integration. I am absolutely loving having my Facebook friend status updating right here. The only thing I would request is get rid of the names because we know it from down here. And uh, also give me the option to... Um, see my own Facebook status updates in there so I just know that they were posted properly. And then on Seismic, uh, where is Seismic? Where'd it go? Where did it go? Seismic 
That's one of the things. Fix the seismic showing up. I don't know where it went. Okay, seismic's gone. Don't know what happened to it. Uh, but for seismic, my request for seismic was basically uh, make it more like uh, tweet deck. No, I uh, have it have actual Twitter support so that I can cross post to Twitter from seismic for Facebook. That would make it cool. That's the big thing it's missing right now. In any case, this has been CK Sample with a daily obsession and obsessable.com. Check out our post for more info on both of these tools. Cheers.